Square Bears, it's your girl Chris. Welcome to my channel. This is Beauty MC Square. And this is part two. I want to show you guys how I typically wrap my hair up. Either when I have wavy curls or this, this hairstyle in general. It's a little bit flat right now because I just took it down from wrapping it up, but I wanted to show you guys how I typically wrap it up. After you take it down, you can always kind of pull it apart and make it bigger and, you know, style it however you want to. From the previous video, you guys saw how I initially curled and styled my hair and had all the little height and volume up here. And how I wrap my hair up is really, 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 really easy. I try not to make a huge production on how I wrap my hair up because usually um, around the time that I actually get to lay down and go to sleep, I'm doing it like almost in a hurry because I have to, you know, chase the rest of the night and try to get as much sleep as possible. So I don't want to have to put thousands of curls in my hair, thousands of rollers, and, you know, have this intricate tie-up thing. You know, it's, we don't want to do that. So let's get right into it. Because of the way that my hair is cut and curled, I usually separate um, the shorter pieces, or at least the pieces that I use a flat iron to curl. I usually separate it and just use a clamp to clip it away out of my face. For everything else, this is generally the area where I did the wand curling. And because I wand curled the hair um, in a certain direction, it's usually easy for me to take either a big chunky section like this, or if I want to maintain more of the smaller waves, take probably half of the size sections like this, and just generally finger comb it so that all the hair is laying in the same direction as uniform as possible, and then separate it in two pieces in both hands. Make sure each piece is as even as possible, and you just do a simple two-strand twist. Usually, because of how the hair is wand curled, the pieces are just going to wrap around itself. It's going to lock itself in. And it's going to be really, really easy to do this. So I two strand twist it all the way, all the way, all the way to the end. The curly end is going to be okay. So I do the same around. Um, I think I want to maintain wave, but I want the waves to be a little bit more relaxed and romantic. So it's going to be a total of four two-strand twists all over my head. So the back section, I want to do the same thing. Separate it in two chunks. And I begin to two-strand twist. Start the first twist pretty close to the base of my head. I'm going to do the same over here. So there's probably two ways that I would do the top part. I would either section out this piece in half and make a pin curl and make another layer of a pin curl like that and set it. Or I would take the entire piece as a whole lay it down flat and do one big pin curl and I think that's what I'm going to do today it's really really easy just take that entire section and just make sure that it's combed in the same direction because it's going in one direction and just pin curl it
just like that. It's kind of like a Princess Leia looking thing, right? Now what you could do before you put on your scarf or your hair bonnet is you can use, um, get a clip or a hairpin and just tack that down just for extra security. I'm not going to do it because my hair is pretty well formed from the initial style that it's going to pretty much lock into place at least in the time that it takes for me to grab a scarf and make sure that it's locked down. But before I do that, I grab my four plaits and just gently lift it to the top of the head and just secure it up using a clamp. Um, I usually use a bonnet, but for extra security, just get you a big, this is a satin bandana. <laughs> kind of gangster but it's a satin scarf and it's pretty big um, and something that will secure your hair at the top enough so that your pin curls will be secure but be loose around the back enough so that you don't flatten your two strand twist because you don't want to flatten it you just want to secure um, your hair being all within your scarf or your bonnet Alright you guys, so that is how I wrap up my hair to maintain my hairstyle. I just want to leave you guys with just a couple of pieces of advice or something that um, I tend to do as I maintain this hairstyle throughout the week or even two weeks. It just depends on how often you like to clean your hair, switch up your styles or whatever. Um, on the initial day of styling when you're using the hot tools and you're using the bulk of your products, you're talking about hairspray or spritz, wax, and heat protectant spray. Your hair is dealing with a lot of products. But as the days progress, um, around the second or third day and you're wrapping your hair up and you're kind of combing um, a lot of the excess product off of the hair, um, around the third day what I would do is before I take down the hair, I I would just get a little bit of coconut oil or a little bit of argan oil run it rub it in my hands and just rake it through my hair as I'm taking it down from it being wrapped up like this um, it's going to give you a really pretty shine and it's not going to overload your hair and products I tend to try to do the oil part of this hairstyle uh, a couple of days after the initial styling just to make sure that the hair is not overwhelmed with tons of product yeah so that is it you guys that's how it looks I'm gonna show you how my hair looked last night uh, which will mark the third day that I actually wrap my hair up after initially uh, curling the hair so that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video you guys Bye, hair.